Hey guys, and welcome to this tutorial I'll be showing you how to download, set up, and use FS Earth Tiles within FSX and Prepare 3D. So what FS Earth Tiles is, it's a free VFR scenery program which downloads satellite imagery and sticks it onto your FSX world, which does look pretty good, and again it's free, so uh, yeah. First thing you want to do is come to f-bmpl.com, the official website for it, all links will be in the description, so go to that if you need anything. And the thing you want to do is go to the second download link, because the first one's broken, click on that, save the download, and open up the RAR file. And what we want to do is extract the FSET folder inside into a new place, so for example I've got this little tutorial folder I can set up. So then close that, and what you now want to do before you open it is go to the OneDrive link in the description, Download the new config in there, basically what I've done is I've fixed it up a bit and make it run better for 2017 because a lot of it was broken. And what we want to do is extract that into the um, FSET folder, replace the one it's got and open it up. So it's good practice to scroll down to the bit where it asks for working folder and scenery folder. Change the scenery folder to your like FSX or Prepare 3D location and change the working folder to a new place on the hard drive. So for example I've created this work folder here, so copy the location and paste it into this. Save that, close that, and you are ready to go. So open up the FSET folder, go back to the FS Earth tiles, and now you're ready to start using it. Using the program is very simple and easy to use, although it does take a little bit of time to get used to. So to move the map around, you can left click and just drag around. To change the zoom level, there's a zoom dial on the right, which you can use to go in and out. And basically, um, that's pretty much it, that's all you need to know. So first of all, you need to do is um, pick the location you want to convert into VFR scenery. So in my case I'm going to do Berlin for this tutorial. So there's two ways you can do it. You can zoom out and find it yourself manually or you can use the latitude and longitude dial up in the top. So you can go to this next website, findlatitudeandlongitude.com input where you're going, so in my case I'm going to find, find Berlin enter that and you can input this data here. So latitude is 52.31.12 52.31.12 13, 24, 17. 13, 24, 17. You click on display and it'll take you straight to where you're going to. So zoom out a bit, click on the draw button and basically just highlight the area that you're going to um, turn into VFR scenery. So if that's what you're going to do, what you've got to do is click on start, but one thing that you should consider is the download resolution. So basically the um, higher the number, the lower the resolution, but the easier on the hard drive to process up and the better the simulator will load. And you can use the zoom on the right to determine like, the quality of the ground scenery. Plus on the right here you've also got like, a little um, thing which has your way. So one, me one is one meter per pixel, two is two meters per pixel and so forth. So I recommend two or three. Those are the numbers that you should be looking at when making the scenery. But once you've set it up um, to what you want it, you can change the scenery folder here, so in my case I've made it Berlin. So when it's completed it'll stick into Program File, Steam, Cmax Common, FSX, Add-on Scenery Berlin. And once you've confirmed that and everything's exactly how you want it, you can click on Start. And the program will start taking all the satellite imagery and sticking it together for you. So once the program has its satellite information, it will now start creating uh, masks images which you can edit in a different program, but we'll go into that later in the tutorial. But for now we're just going to keep the map how it is and stick into the flight simulator. But what it will do is it will create the masks, create the different images for different um, seasons, as depending on the season it will change scenery to suit that, which is a nice extra feature. But once it has completed the masks, it will then open up the compiler in a command prompt. And basically just let that do its thing and it will finish off the scenery and compile it so it is compatible with FSX and Prepare 3D. One thing also worth doing to speed it up is if you open up your task manager and if you go over to details and open up, right click the resample FSX SP2, you can set priority to high and it does slightly speed up the entire process. And once it has sampled that and compiled it, the scenery is now ready to use within FSX. So the next thing you want to do is now go to Steam or wherever you've got your simulator and launch the simulator, which in my case FSX Steam Edition. Load it up, go to your settings and go to the scenery library. Uh, 
and just like any other normal scenery, you go to scenery library, add area, go to add on scenery, pick where it is, in my case Berlin, ok, click on the blank area here, ok, we'll now compile the scenery into the FSX world, and you can now go to free flight and go take off from it. And just like that, when the simulator does load, you can now go over to your new scenery and go from like spot of your top down view and have a look down below. And like I said, just like that, you've now made your own VFR scenery into FSX. It generally does look quite good. Some areas there's not as great coverage, and it really depends on your actual settings in FS Earth when you set it up, so the um, resolution of the ground, but as a whole, it's high quality ground scenery and it didn't cost you a penny. Likewise, if you do edit the texture files, you can edit the mask and that kind of stuff, make it better quality, and you get some really good stunning effects out of the simulator. Some buildings as well are defined within the simulator, so in some capital cities you've got defined landmarks and stuff, but there are mods out there also which you can stick auto-gen buildings onto VFR scenery. Paywares and freewares are available. So what if I want to have something like an island or a river and define that within the um, VFR scenery? So that's something that doesn't take too much longer to do, but it's quite easy to set up. So what you can do is draw a new marker over a new place. So I'll do this island here off the coast of England and France. Create a grid around it. Keep down the resolution as it is, but this time I want to turn compile scenery to no. And you'll see why when it gets to that. So after you've turned compile scenery off, you just go to start like normal. Uh, don't let it clear out cache, that takes forever and sometimes it crashes, but just like before, it will now start taking the scenery images, and, well, remember to also define this well, so the work folder is this, and the new scenery folder, because they're naming it Island. But yeah, it'll take the satellite images, it'll comp create the mask files, but this time it won't compile it, and you'll see what we'll do next. Right, so once it's made the scenery, got the satellite images to make the mask files, now what you want to do is open up the work folder and look for the mask image, so the one that's generally quite pink. What you want to do is right click that, open with any program, so in my case I'll be using paint.net, but you can open it with Adobe Photoshop and a program like GIMP, but I prefer paint.net for this. And what you want to do is use the colour green to find the water, so if you turn that down and have green or the hex code 00FF00, and what you want to do is basically just fill in all the water with green. So once you have created your mask image, what you can now do is just save it. Control S does it. Save the image and you can now close your image editing program. So now that you can see it has got the edited mask is now green around it. And finally, the last thing you can do is open up the um, work folder and open up another. Um, uh, sorry, open up the work folder and open up the FS Earth Tiles um, folder. And what you're looking for is this F area FSX Mask Seasons info, and there's all the extra information. Basically, what you want to do is drag the Mask Info config and drop it on top of the Resample FSX SP2 folder. Um, executable here. So drag that, drop it in there, and it'll now start compiling the scenery just like it did before. So just like that, it's now created the scenery, it's now compiled it, and you can do what you did before, just go to your FSX um, scenery library and add it from there. So like I said, so as before, go to add area, add on scenery, click the new islands, which is what I called mine. Okay. It'll compile that, and just like before, you can now fly over to your new um, scenery, but this one with the mask info edited. And just like that, you've now got yourself some new ground scenery, VFR scenery, and you'd use the mask files to define the ocean around the island and um, push it away. With more editing and more like refinements, so it can get a bit closer to the edge, but for now, this is a quite good system. And once again, being a free method of doing VFR scenery, it's not a bad way of doing it either, and you can get some pretty good sceneries out of it. So if you guys did find this tutorial helpful, do leave a like, and if you want me to do more in the future, I will do some more for you guys, so if you have any like requests, feel free to stick them down below. 
But if you guys did enjoy the video, do leave a like, do subscribe also, as it does help the channel out. And I will see you guys next time. Goodbye.